dark it is out there I think it's definitely gonna rain this morning so I think we'll go for a walk this afternoon and this morning I'll get all of your washing done because you keep being sick on everything don't you so I'm currently lying here trying to get Joel to take a nap he normally takes a nap about 9 a.m. as you would have seen in my routine video um, but he's he fell asleep on me and then I put him down and he started waking up and I can always get him back off but then Steve left for work and he was running late and he accidentally like shut the door a bit too loudly on his way out so um now Joel is awake and he won't go back to sleep this is what we're dealing with go to sleep he's just absolutely wired he's like um so yeah, I'm going to be here for a long time, I think, and I'll probably end up taking longer to get him to sleep than what he's actually going to sleep for. Um, I don't know if anyone else finds that, but yeah. I mean, some days he will go off within like five minutes or straight away, and then other days he's like just fighting his sleep. And I really think it's because I've slightly missed his nap window and haven't listened to my Huckleberry app or maybe tried to put him down a bit too late and he's overtired you've got that app guys listen to it because i promise you it really does work it's a lifesaver so i'm basically just gonna lay here holding his dummy in holding his comforter to his face and eventually i hope he'll drop off so he is finally asleep Oh my god that was such a battle i had to pick him up in the end and like rock him to sleep and then put him down without waking him up but so far so good so he normally goes for about half an hour to 45 minutes in the morning so this is his 9 a.m nap but it is now half nine so i'm expecting him to wake up around 10 or just after i'm just currently sat in the spare room which is an absolute mess so we don't actually have any plans today so one of my jobs is to sort this room out because it is a mess you can see in the background there i've got a case of joel's not three months clothes that needs to go in the loft so steve's going to put those in the loft tomorrow because he's got he's booked tomorrow and friday off um off work as holiday and then we've got joel's high chair there as well but that's just going to stay there for now because after christmas we will be putting that up because he'll be six months old and we're going to start weaning um and then i've got all of the washing just behind me there so i think it's nearly dry so i'm going to sort all of that out today and then i've got a pile of whitewashing on the spare bed so i need to sort that out as well so yeah good times i'll probably do that during his next nap because normally i get ready during his first nap however i don't know i might just i might stay like this for a bit because we don't actually have any plans and it's meant to be drizzling in like an hour so we're not going to go for a walk this morning i think we'll go for a walk this afternoon um, so it's Wednesday obviously and Monday we met one of my friends with her baby for a walk and then yesterday I met another friend with a baby for a walk um, so today it's quite nice not to have any plans because tomorrow morning we've got a baby group that we're going to um, which me and the NCT girls found. Um, it's a free baby group that they've started during lockdown because our sensory classes are now being done via Zoom. We can't all go and meet up, the seven of us, um, for a walk. So this is a baby group where we can all see each other without getting in trouble. Um, so we do that on a Thursday morning now and then Friday morning we've got his sensory class. So today is probably the only day of the week that we don't have any plans. Um, and also with Steve being off tomorrow, we are going to have like a little family day after the baby group so we're going to go for a walk um in a really cute little town nearby and get a takeaway um like cake and drink and then we'll probably there's a park opposite there so i think we're going to go and take joel to the park and see how he gets on on the swings so i'm not going to put him in a swing on his own i'm going to sit on a swing with him on my lap but I think it'll be really cute. And then there's a garden centre just up the road from there that has the cutest Christmas section. And he really likes the lights there. So we're going to we're gonna go there after and show him all of the Christmas lights. So that's our little family plan for tomorrow, which I probably won't vlog because 
we're just gonna have some family time um so yeah like i said today is um the first day that we don't have any plans this week um so i might just stay in my jammies for a little bit makeup free probably until we go for a walk later um i'm one of those people that has to at least put a little bit of makeup on if i'm leaving the house so it's quite nice just to be makeup free for the morning um so yeah i can't decide whether to sort this room out now or go and take a shower i don't really know honestly you have such big plans for your baby's naps and then you only really get to choose one thing you can't do it all because they're only going to nap for like half an hour so this is the dilemma that i have daily right now i think i'm going to put the white washing away we'll put those piles of washing away there and then that'll be a start as soon as i stopped vlogging and i was about to start sorting out the clean washing i heard joel cry and he literally been down for five minutes and this is what happens when you miss their nap window so he's now wide awake and I've tried to get him to go back to sleep but he's just not going back to sleep and I'm just gonna give up now I can't be bothered so we're gonna get downstairs aren't we because by the time I get him back off to sleep he's gonna be due his next feed so there's no point um so I'm hoping he would because some days he takes a really really long lunchtime nap like two hour nap um and I find if I go in and kind of um like make him stir after like 45 minutes then he'll go back into another sleep cycle and nap for ages so we're going to try that at lunchtime and then at least I can get some stuff done um but I'm gonna have to just give up for now I mean some days his naps go great and other days if I miss his nap window even by 10 minutes his nap just isn't happening um so that's why I'd really recommend this app, guys. Just follow the app. Like, don't even try and guess on your own because I used to get it wrong all the time and that's why he never napped. And it just goes to show, if I miss his nap window, he won't nap. Will you? You're a monkey. I think that's his last naught to three months sleep suit that I need to pack away because it is a bit tight on him now. Um, but he's four, he's just over four months. So I'm amazed that they've lasted him this long. He's quite, he's quite a small baby. He's just very long. Um, right, let's get you up and then what's the time? It's 10 to 10, so he's going to be due his next feed in a minute anyway. So I think we'll get him dressed and then we'll go downstairs and pop, pop um, baby TV on and give him a feed. And then I'm hoping he will sleep because at the moment he's just, <laughs> he's just smiling at me. He knows exactly what he's done. You win. You win. You little monkey. I think today we will try and put him in his big boy cot for a nap because I did it a few weeks ago and it did like it did go down well so I put his sleepy head in there he would never sleep in this overnight um sorry I've got the cot top changer you can't really see it he would never go in the sleepy head overnight but it's fine for daytime naps when I'm kind of like in and out supervising him and I watch him on the monitor um so I put the sleepy head in his big cot because we didn't really use it downstairs anymore because he's a bit big now and he always naps upstairs now anyway. So yeah, so I put his sleepy head in his big cot um, the other week because I just thought it would make the cot feel like less big and open so he's more likely to settle. And it did work the other week, didn't it? You did go down for a good, I think he went down for like an hour. So I think we'll try that again today because I need to get him more used to it because I think after Christmas he'll be in this room, in your own room. Honestly, he has got so big, I can't cope. He's just so long. I would say since about 12 weeks, he's just got so big and he just can't get away with being a little, tiny little baby anymore, can you? He just did a massive burp, I don't know if you heard that. Um, <laughs> joy. But yeah, he's just so big, so alert. Like since 16 weeks, he started doing like different noises and things like that. It's lovely to see. Obviously I miss him being my little newborn, but it is lovely that he's doing this now. Um, and they're more interactive and you can have more fun with them, I think. Now they're getting a bit older. But yeah, honestly, like I look back at pictures of him even from like four or five weeks ago and he just looks massive now. It's just amazing how quickly they change. Should we get you dressed? Should we get you dressed? Smiley. <laughs> smiley, what should we wear today? What should we put on? You're very smiley. Oh, 
I think. Oh, we'll go for this one. This is your new one. This new sleep suit from H&M. So I think we'll put that one on because I love the colour and I love the little clouds on it. That's really cute. And it's a daytime one because it hasn't got the, the feet on it. So we will put that on him today. <laughs> massive basket of washing in the machine which I've just picked out of our room um because he's been sick on both of his sleeping bags um only after only once wash um wearing them and that's the issue with a baby who has bad sicky reflux so let's go and put this washing in so you've got a dry sleeping bag for tonight so he's just having a little swing while I go and put some washing on and make his bottles. That is his latest toy. It's an early Christmas present. We really need a conservatory for his toys because they're just taking up all of our lounge at the moment. There's a toy basket behind the door. We've got a bouncer down there. And um, we've got his mama's and papa's seat there. Oh my God, I just don't have the space. But yeah, the swing is actually being packed away this weekend because we're putting the Christmas tree up and it goes there, which I will obviously film. The bouncer will last for a bit longer, but the problem is he hasn't even outgrown the swing yet. You can see he's still got space in it and I love it, but realistically we don't use it that much anymore. I just put him in it quickly if I need to do something. But like when he was a newborn, we'd be sat here watching telly and he would be taking a nap in there, but he won't do that anymore. So I know I need to pack it away. It's just emotional, okay? I'm over emotional mother who just holds on to everything, but I think most of us are like that, right? But yeah, the swing is going away, hopefully, for his little brother or sister in a few years. Um, but it's been brilliant. Like, we used it a lot when the seat came off, so then he could watch the telly. But then my mum got us a bouncer when Joel was about three months old, so, um, because we just didn't think we needed it because we had that. But she bought us a bouncer, so then she can use this as well when he's at her house. Um, so we've just been using that now. I think we'll leave that out for a bit longer because it's quite long and it reclines if he's napping or something not that he really does downstairs anymore but yeah that will probably last us longer and then we've got his nappy caddy under there so yeah this lounge is full and I think we'll probably put that away till after Christmas because then it can go where the um where the tree was because with the tree it's just going to feel so cramped and then we've also got his jumperoo behind the door which is brilliant because it all folds up his toy basket's a bit full at the moment I need to sort it out um Steve's been blowing balloons up for him so we've got loads of stuff there fully aware that I'm waffling by the way but you guys just want to see our boring day in the life so I'm just showing you um but yeah his jumper is folded up so again when he uses that it's either here or where the ball pit is in the dining room so that's why we got a jumper that's folded up so it's not taking up loads of space and then obviously once he moves rooms into the spare room which is the big bedroom it's like the same size as ours he can have stuff like that in his bedroom but at the moment he's in the box room so we can't fit anything else in there and then god knows what we're going to do if we have two kids like I, I can't even think about it we just I think we'll definitely have a conservatory or some sort of extension by that point anyway but yeah it's quite stressful having all this baby equipment and a, like not a massive house to fit it all in so Joel is ready and I'm not, which is pretty standard if we're not doing anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put all of this washing in now and then I'm going to make his bottle because he's shouting already. So, and then we'll do his 10 a.m. feed because it is now, I don't actually know what the time is, my clock's done. It's now 20 past 10, so he gets fed anywhere between 10 and half 10, depending on what time he's woken up and has his first bottle in the morning. Um, so yeah, we will do his feed now because he's about to kick off. So we are back on the Audi Mamia formula now because the cow gate was making him so constipated. It was, it's the anti-reflux one that we were on. It's great for his sickness, but it makes him so constipated. 
Um, so we're on this with the Gaviscon, but I'm just waiting to be prescribed some Omeprazole instead because it's back in stock. Um, so I'm hoping that will help his sickness a little bit more. So true what they say guys, the washing literally doesn't end. It never ends. Um, me and Steve used to do like two washes a week. So like one white wash and one dark wash a week before we had Joel. Maybe three occasionally if he needed like extra if Steve needed extra football kit washing or something like that but now we are literally doing a wash like most days and yeah it's just sometimes some days I just feel like I'm washing just a couple of things which I hate I have to have a full machine so I literally just go around the house and find things to wash just to bolt the machine out but the washing is just insane especially if you have like a sicky baby like Joel is it's just ridiculous you're just washing all the time and obviously like yes I always said before I had a baby I don't have to do that um because we'll just let it build up and then wash one like once a week or twice a week but like things like his sleeping bags he's only got two of them so if he's sick which at the moment he'll wear it once and be sick on it then he needs a sleeping bag for overnight so I'm not buying like enough sleeping bags for every day of the week so two is fine but it just means like they're on a constant like wash cycle so he'll wear one for like a night maybe two nights then he'll be sick on it and then I'll have to wash it so yeah we are doing probably about five washes a week at the moment which is just insane but hopefully as he gets older and he gets less sick we can go a bit longer in between them so that is that load on and now I'm gonna go and feed Jolie and then I'm gonna wash up these bottles because this is the last bottle that I had that was clean and then I'm hoping he will take a nap because obviously he hasn't had one this morning, which is very unlike him and really messes up the little routine we've got going on. Just realised that we are pretty much out of formula and I mean Aldi formula is brilliant, it's um, really reasonably priced, I can't fault it at all, but if you just need formula it's a pain having to go to Aldi because it's further than say like Asda is from us. It's not that far, it's like five, ten minute drive, but as do is just up the road so yeah I can't just like dash into co-op or Asda and pick up a cow and gay I've got to like drive all the way to Aldi just for formula and we try and time it with the food shop but it doesn't always work out like that so we've got three days till we do a food shop but we've only got enough formula to last him probably this morning so I'm gonna see if Steve can go and get some on his way back from, sorry, the postman just put something through the letterbox. On his way back from um, his meeting in Bournemouth this morning. And if not, um, I am gonna have to run to Audi to get some formula, which with a baby is a bit of a pain because you can never just run anywhere. Like, you, and anything takes you twice as long. So I can't just dash in. I've got to like put him in the pram just for the sake of dashing in to get formula, which is a real pain, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna go and feed him now because he's actually kicking off. Are you hungry? <laughs> yes, you are. are. You hungry? Shouting for your second feed of the day when mummy hasn't even had her first. It's half ten and I haven't eaten anything. And guess what? I'm not shouting. <laughs> You're very demanding. Come on then, let's get you fed. So he's just had... How much have you had? Let's have a look. So he's just had about six and a half ounces um he's left about 30 mil in there um which is what he normally has um so he has five feeds a day i get asked a lot like how much he's fed so i'll always make 210 mil because that's the guidelines on the tin sometimes he'll guzzle it especially his first bottle of the morning he'll have all of it and sometimes he will leave 30 mil which he has started doing and he started pushing his bottle away when he's had enough so that's kind of what he started doing in the last like two three weeks um yeah so he's all fed i'm just sat here keeping him upright for 10 minutes and then i might try and put him down for a nap and see if he will go but he's not showing signs of tiredness at the moment so i might have to see how that one goes and leave it a bit longer we've just had three parcels arrive so i'm going to open those in a second um and i know one of them is some of steve's christmas presents from boohoo man don't know what the other two things are, so that's pretty exciting. So we'll get those opened in a minute. And then when he goes down for a nap, I'm going to do a teeth whitening strip because I want to get them... They've just gone a little bit dull at the moment, so I want to um, 
I ordered some more Crest 3D whitening strips and I'm going to do one of those just to brighten them up. I can notice the difference after the first treatment. They're amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. She's <laughs> tickling. <laughs> um, yeah, our day, like I said, our day is very boring, but you guys wanted to see it. So here it is. Who's that? Is that you? Is that you, Poldy Pudding? <laughs> Those lips. Everything's straight in the mouth at the moment, isn't it? You're just trying to eat everything. Is that you? Oh, that was a big burp. I'm playing up for the camera. Yeah, is that you? Is that you? So I've put him in his cot in the hope that he will go to sleep. I can still hear him chatting to himself, but I have managed to have a really quick two minute shower. And I've just chucked my misguided oversized joggers and a little like loungewear crop top cardigan type thing, also from misguided, because we are having a cozy day today. Because it's like I said, it's just a very casual day. Um, I might just stick a sweater on when we go out for a walk, but yeah. This is what I'll be in for the day. Um, I just can't stay in my jammies anymore um, all day because I just feel like I haven't got my shit together. I feel like I get more done if I actually get up, get dressed. I might just put a little bit of base makeup on, but I'm not doing like mascara and stuff today. I can't be bothered with that. Um, actually, I can't hear anything in Joel's room, so I might just go and see if he's settled. Are you going to go to sleep? Oh, honestly, babies. So I just popped in and put his dummy back in and now he looks like he is going to sleep. Finally, so I'm just going to shove some base makeup on um, and then try and tidy up the spare room and sort the washing out a little bit. Thank God for makeup, that is all I can say. Um, I'm not doing anything with my hair today. I've brushed it and that's as good as it is going to get. Um, I might shove it up when we go for a walk later. I've just remembered I need to go to the pharmacy to pick up um, some of Joel's reflux medication, the new one that they're trying him on, which is the Omeprazole, I think. Um, so when we go on our walk later, we are going to go via the pharmacy and pick that up. I might take him in the baby carrier today just because it's a little bit of like extra weight and it's a pain having to get the pram in and out of the car all the time. So I might take him in the carrier because now he's big enough, he can go forward facing. So I might try that because I think he'll quite like that because he's actually ready for the seat unit in his pram, but he's still got space in the carry cot. Like he's not outgrowing it yet. And I'm just not ready to put him in the seat unit. And I went for a walk with my friend yesterday whose baby is six months and she's just gone into the seat unit. She's got the same pram as me, the egg. Um, and she said she wouldn't have done it before six months because they are still quite slumped. And obviously where they can't sit up and support their own weight, it's just better if they're in the carry cot till they're six months. So I am going to wait till after Christmas to, to put him in the seat unit. But he does like to look around. So I will put him in the carrier, I think. It's not actually raining at the moment. So I think it'll be okay. I mean, look how overgrown our flower beds are. They're an actual joke. Steve's going to do the garden on Friday because obviously he's off. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sort all of this washing out now um, and hopefully Joel won't wake up. He's been asleep for about 20 minutes, so I'm hoping he'll nap for a little bit longer so I can get this done and then make the bed, brush my teeth and then I'm going to have some, um, I'm just going to go and get some fruit, like some strawberries or something and just have that because it's half 11 and I still haven't eaten a thing this morning and I'm actually getting quite hungry now. So I'm going to do this first and then eating can come after. <laughs> So I thought he's not crying, he seems quite happy. So I'm just gonna leave him to it. Came in here, made the bed, and then 
went back in and I thought, oh, he's gone quiet, so I'm just going to go in and check. And he's gone back to sleep. He's self-settled on his own. And I've literally been trying to get him to do this for so long. So yeah, it's probably just a fluke. So I'm not going to get too excited. But yeah, I'm very happy. So now hopefully we'll get another half an hour out of him at least. Because um, it's now 5 to 12. And he went down at 11 or just after. So we will wait and see. Um, but yeah, all the washing's um, put away, so the rack is ready for the next load to go on, to, that's about to finish in a minute, it's, like I said, it's never ending. My day is basically just washing and tidying up now, um, and then uh, I just need to put Joel's washing away in his room when he wakes up, um, but everything else is done, the bed is made, so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, people ask how I keep on top of the housework and how I keep my house tidy. I don't all the time like yesterday the bed was not made all day because we were going out quite early to meet my friend for a walk so I just um didn't get a chance to do it but I do tidy as I go I do have like really bad OCD I do tidy as I go I have to otherwise I just get stressed out I mean some people can just accept that they've got a baby and their house will be a mess but I was fine in the newborn days I was fine um, I just didn't even care because I was so tired and then it got to about six, he was like six or eight weeks old um, and I was like no I need I need tidiness back I need order back so yeah I do just tidy as I go and don't get me wrong I do have days where my house is quite messy um, but I generally try and keep on top of it it does mean that I don't stop it does mean that I occasionally have to put Joel down for a bit of screen time just so I can get stuff done if he's not napping for long but I do keep on top of the like tidying up. I don't necessarily keep on top of the cleaning because that's more difficult. So it might not be immaculately clean, but it's tidy most of the time because I literally just tidy. I'm always tidying as I go. Um, and I have to do that for my insanity. Otherwise I'm just grumpy. I don't feel like I've got my life together. <laughs> I feel like everything's just chaos. I have to keep it tidy. And I think because we live in a new build as well, um, if and we're quite minimalistic with our furniture and stuff like that if anything's left out you can really notice it um so yeah I do have to I do have to try and just tidy as I go and that's the best way that I find works for me for keeping on top of it all so now I'm going to go downstairs and have some breakfast slash lunch brunch whatever you want to call it um, I'm just going to have some fruit and then probably finish off the chicken and salad that is in the fridge because that needs eating up and, and then if he's still asleep, which I'm not expecting he will be, I will finish editing my Clean With Me YouTube video that I'm hoping to get up later today because I filmed it like five days ago and I really need to finish editing it because I just have been so lazy with it. Um, so I'm hoping to do that and then he will be due a feed at one o'clock and then we'll go out for a walk. He is literally just still fast asleep, bless him. So I'm hoping he will stay like that for a while and then I might be able to get some more stuff done. So let's go and have some lunch. Okay, so I'm just going to have some lunch now. The bottles are in there sterilising. Um, so I've got a bag of these, which are Aldi's version of what's it's because on the diet plan that I bought, I'm allowed snacks under 100 calories. So I will usually have just like a snack with my lunch. I've got a Coke Zero because... I don't drink coffee or tea really, um, apart from like green tea and stuff. But yeah, I need some sort of like caffeine or something to keep me going all day. Um, I've got some chicken that's left over from our roast dinner on Sunday. So I'm gonna have um, some of that, which I will weigh out um, with some salad. And then I'm gonna have hundred grams of strawberries because again, they will be under hundred calories. And that is part of the diet plan that I am following that I purchased. And then just the rest of my water there. And what are the chances as soon as I prep this, Joel is gonna wake up? Um, I reckon that's actually gonna happen. But I'm gonna try and eat this and finish editing my other YouTube video. And then in an ideal world, he will wake up when I finish that. Then we can do his feed and go for a walk. Hi. Oh dear. Do you want some milk? Hi, Smiley. Smiling away and you never do it for the camera, do you? Did you have a nice sleep? Should we get you up? So this little one has had a nappy change and now we're gonna make his one o'clock feed because it is five to one and he's woken up in a very bad mood. So he's just been screaming. Um, so I'm not gonna put him in his, 
he's got this like mamas and papas bumbo style seat that sometimes I put him in on the kitchen side when I'm making his bottle but I think he's in one of those moods where if I put him down he's gonna kick off so we move we move we'll go with it so I'm gonna make his bottle now give you your feed and then we might get out of this house for the day I've decided that when I go and pick up his meds from the pharmacy, I'm going to see if they've got any baby Bongella in there because I haven't bought any yet and I just feel like he's wanting to chew on stuff like so badly now, like even worse than what he was a few weeks ago. So I think his gums are hurting him a little bit. So I will see if they've got any of that in and hopefully it will help you. Snuffle pig. See, I've got really bad arm ache and trying to do everything one handed is so difficult. Um, he has just, he's obsessed with watching me do stuff around the kitchen. So if I run the tap and stuff like that, he's just obsessed with it. So free playtime, hey. So I've got to try and put two sachets of Gaviscon in this feed because one of the feeds a day, he gets a double dose because the doctor said that we can do that. And I thought I'll give that to him now. Um, then he's had a double dose so he's less likely to be sick all down himself when we're out on our walk. So you can have that one now. So I just popped him in his balancer for a second. He's not strapped in because I'm in the same room as him. Um, he's just watching some Christmas songs on YouTube. We've just had a little cuddle while his feed's gone down and watched some together. And now I'm just going to go and quickly get changed so we can go out on our walk. Um, so slight change of plan. I've actually decided to go and... Um, I think I'm going to go and walk to B&M because I, um, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm selling some perfumes um, from FM at the moment. And when they arrive to me from the warehouse, I like to package them up and make them look pretty. So I'm going to go and get like a multi-pack of mini packets of Haribo or something like that just to pop in with the perfumes. Because um, they are going to be here on Friday and I've decided that I want to make them look really nice. So I don't know whether to take the baby carrier. I might take the pram if I'm going to B&M. It is looking pretty dark out there. So I might need to check the weather in a minute because if it's going to rain, then we won't be able to walk that far. Um, but I figured if I'm walking to B&M, then the pharmacy is on the way so then I can pick up Joel's medication. So I've done two scenic walks this week. So I don't mind just doing like a general walk today. So yeah, if we just go and go and get those from B&M, go and get his medication and then at least we've got out the house and got stuff done at the same time. Are you telling me that you've done a poo? Yeah? Oh, you stopped talking when I turned the camera on. Should we do your nappy? Okay. Oh, that's how you feel. Okay, well, I'll change your nappy now then. Shall I? Shall we do it now? And then we'll go out? Yeah! Yeah! Chatty man. We are finally getting out of this house. So, you ready? Should we go? He's just had a meltdown because I put him in the pram seat, but it's pretty cold out today, so he needs it. So let's get going, let's go for a little walk and then hopefully you'll take a nap in the pram. <laughs> And then the queue you swap to ends up being long. And the queue that you were in ends up moving quickly. So moral of the story guys, don't swap queues because whenever I do it, and I do it quite regularly, that literally happens. So people who don't say thank you or even acknowledge that you've let them past really, really pee me off. So I've just encountered one, maybe two or three in B&M and now I'm in a mood because I'm gonna try and breathe now. We've got a half an hour walk home, so I'm not gonna let it ruin my day, but seriously, I let this guy pass, and then I saw him again at the tills and did the same and he still didn't even acknowledge that I'd let him pass, didn't say thank you and then he bumped into me, didn't even say sorry, so I shouted sorry and walked off. Um, so yeah, I'm in a little bit of a mood now but we move. So we're just having our four o'clock feed, his four o'clock feed, not mine, um, and it's actually 20 to five so 
we're going to have this and then I'm going to sit him upright for 10 minutes because of obviously his reflux and then we are going to do like an hour's sensory play before his bedtime routine starts at six o'clock and then he goes to bed at seven usually don't you he's just stopped drinking his bottle when he's listening to me hello he literally looks so much like steve it's actually a joke like why do they always come out looking like their dad it's so unfair um anyway i've just chopped my hair up and it looks such a mess but i can't deal with having it down when i'm walking it just really annoys me and then half of my makeup has come off from my mask because it was so hot in b&m and i was so hot from walking and yeah i just look a state basically don't i yeah so we are going to finish this and then i'm going to pop some baby sensory on the tv and he can watch that while i'm sitting him upright for 10 minutes because I don't want to like jig him about or move him after his feed and then we will do some playtime. I know you've heard it all before but you are the love of my life I knew when you came through the door that you are the love of my life for today i'm so sorry it hasn't been the most exciting day but you guys wanted to see it so here it is um he is getting grumpy because he's not getting any attention do you want to say bye say bye bye oh he's gone shy again so yeah um thank you so much for watching guys if you haven't done so already please do hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a little thumbs up um i would really really appreciate it and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.